Hello, mates. How are you today? It's Grandpa Ken. Thank you for coming back and joining us, kiddos. I really miss you when you're not here. Remember, I'm on 24-7, so I'd get lonely a lot if it wasn't for Barkley here. We got a good fun one because Barkley's really liking me reading his favorite, favorite, favorite book. You know what it is? It's Clifford and his hiccups. Uh-oh. Let's see what he does, huh? You all comfy? Got your ears all ready to listen? Huh? I didn't hear you. What did you? Yes, okay. <coughs> Emily Elizabeth sat up in bed. What's that sound, she wondered. Oh, goodness. Look how big the hiccups are, kiddos. Up popped the teddy bear. Up popped the doll. And up popped Emily. Clifford had the hiccups. You, She could tell, huh, kiddos? You bet they getting louder and bigger and louder and louder. She went down to breakfast. <coughs> Up popped the plates and the cups. <coughs> popped the orange <coughs> right into Mr. Howard's head. Maybe the vet can help Clifford, said Mrs. Howard. Whoa, look at Dad got the orange juice on the top of his head. Hmm. Dr. Dine checked Cl <coughs> Clifford's br <coughs> breathing. <coughs> it kept hiccuping, and look at it, shaking the doctor loose on the ladder. She's got to climb up to examine Clifford. He's big boy. Clifford just has a case of the hiccups, Dr. Dine said. Sooner or later, <coughs> they will go <coughs> away. Outside the doctor's office, Clifford saw his friends, T-Bone and Mac. Yup, yup, yup. Mmm, they're out there playing, and they hear Clifford coming by hiccuping. I know how to make Clifford's hiccups go away, T-Bone said to Mac. I'll give him a little scare. Boo! T-Bone shouted. Oh, look it. Do you think that did it, kiddos? What do you think? Did it get rid of his hiccups? Huh? But Clifford's hiccups didn't yeah, yeah, yeah. go away. I know how to make your hiccups go away, Max said to Clifford. Follow me. What do you think he's going to do? How do you get rid of him? Huh? I don't know. Let's see. Mac led Clifford to a kiddie pool. Shut your eyes, hold your ears, then turn upside down and drink, said Mac. So Clifford shut his eyes and, and held his ears and turned upside down and drank, just like he was told, because Clifford's a good boy. And then, boom, T-Bone jumped out of the pool. And Clifford's hiccups stopped. I did it, said T-Bone. I did it, said Mac. Uh, I bet you Clifford doesn't care who did it, just as long as they're really gone, right? <coughs> Oops. T-Bone and Mac were very disappointed. We really wanted to help, said T-Bone. You did help, said Clifford. You did make my hip go away, but I feel good because you tried real hard. See? Yup. Yup. Can you hiccup, kiddos? Yup. Do you know how to get rid of them? That's even more important. Just then, Emily came by. How are you hiccup? She asked. Everyone listened and listened and listened and listened some more. Look at them, they're all listening. What are they listening for, kiddos? What are they listening for? Do we know? Do we know? Yes, we do know. Clifford's hiccups were finally gone. Yay, everybody's celebrating. Yay, hiccup. Oh, no. I got him now, kiddos. He gave him to me. Now what? Well, maybe... 
Barkley and I can figure it out. <gasps> Thanks for coming and come again because I sure miss you when you're not here, kiddos. Have a great day. <gasps>